So thank you very much uh, for this. And now I would like to uh, give the floor to, to Olivia uh, for a really quick wrap up um, and closing of this, uh, this, uh, this event. Thanks, Martha. So just uh, just a few thoughts as closing closing ideas uh, from what we've heard today. So the first one is um, the similarities between the offline sector, the traditional sector that Claire was giving us an insight into, and the similarities of what's happening in the in the digital domestic work care sector. So Claire, for example, mentioned informality, low wages, hours of work, very few hours or very long hours as uh, some key concerns in the traditional sector. And we heard from our panelists on the panel when we asked them about the challenges, pay and wages was mentioned, uh, lack of social protection, which goes hand in hand with, with informality. Um, and around wages, for example, the, the high commission rates, cost of equipment, the buying of tools and, uh, and not having enough work. So thinking about too little work, too few hours or, or too long hours for some. So there's some similarities there. Um, the, I think at the beginning of the so-called collaborative economy, uh, going back over 10 years ago, there were lots of narratives around the, the promises of the digitalization of the labor force. But actually, we're seeing that technology in itself will not resolve the difficulties, inequalities and social problems that we have in traditional society, in traditional economy, which takes me to another point from our best practices, we've heard of what is possible, some very hopeful messages, both from Dawn and Juan, uh, of what you can do both from the private sector and from uh, workers' organizations. And I think both, both have provided really nice complementary uh, perspective of what, what can be done. And, uh, and again, it's uh, sometimes we get stuck on the, the app itself or the tech itself, but actually behind technology, there are business decisions, there are values. There are laws, regulations, uh, there are ways of using and designing that technology that can influence the impact it has. And when workers are put at the center of that, those decisions, we see a very different result. Um, so on that very positive note, I think I'll leave it there and hand it over to Fiona. Thank you so much, Olivia, uh, and all of our uh, panelists and Don and Juan for sharing your best practices. I think Don ended with uh, the word hope, <laughs> and I think that's a, that's a good one. Um, I, I also wanted to make sure that we uh, stop on time because I'm aware uh, that everybody has uh, other things to do as well, and one and a half hours in a Zoom is sometimes a bit too much. Um, like I shared um, in the chat, if you have any questions for the panelists, uh, if you would like to get in touch with somebody who spoke today or who presented today, uh, please let us know. Uh, you can reach us through office at wageindicator.org um, or also get in touch uh, via one of the speakers uh, via the Zoom chat now. Um, I just want to thank you very much for joining us today for this first webinar uh, of Women in Gig. Uh, but I also want to alert you uh, to the fact that we will be having a second webinar of, uh, on Women in Gig uh, on the 31st of March in 2023, uh, where we will focus specifically on the experience of women, women in online platforms. Um, we also have a, a big newsletter that we send out from the Wage Indicator team uh, almost every month, I think. And um, we uh, would gladly like to invite you to subscribe to the newsletter if you haven't done so yet. Um, and um, yeah, we'll keep in touch. We are uh, we will be organizing more webinars on gig um, in the coming uh, months and years as well and sharing information through newsletters and other events. Uh, so we're super happy that you joined us. A huge thank you to the panelists and the speakers. Um, and um, I'm wishing you all a very nice rest of your day or evening and hope to see you soon. Thank